There it is. Ace versus Despot. And the first game is going to be Lightning against Agur. 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 Um, can anyone in the chat tell me how to pronounce his name? Because that is just frustrating. Anyway, the first game is on Fighting Spirit. It's Lightning, who is a Tyrone player, against Agur, which is a Zo player. It's good to see a couple of Zo players, and, um, as we haven't really seen that many. It's last... Uh, um, Ace, uh, uh, sorry, Stealth Bunnies against uh, Victoria Seeker was all Tyrone and Protoss, which is, you know, it's cool, it's cool, but I do like to see a bit of Zo playing, because I am a Zo player myself. Anyway, let's get into the first replay. I don't have any fancy graphics for this particular game, so... Oh, we got three players in the game, so... Okay, so Coughing Hydra is just an observer, so don't worry about that. Huh. Anyway, okay, so we have the brown Zerg player in the bottom right corner, and this is Fighting Spirit, of course, and we have the yellow Tehran player who is Lightning. Ager, Ager. Ager and Lightning. I could call him L1 Agitning. Anyway. I've just realized something else that I forgot, so you guys can watch these SCVs mine while um, I do interesting stuff like fixing my broken stuff. T -t 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 -t. So, this should be... Haha. -ha. Okay, so this is top player Agur. I think it's Ace is the top player. And the other one is... No, not that one. Huh. There we go. Uh, that one is Despa. Despa. Okay. So, anyway, let's get back to the game. Sorry about that. Uh, we have the Zerg player. Is Looks like he's just going to be doing a 12 hatch expand. And the Tyran player is doing tyran stuff. Yep, just chilling, building his supply depots. As you do, as you do. Um, the replay progress is hidden, like it's never going to show anything other than the elapsed time, so don't worry about that, Gorg. However, I would like a nice stream graphic to put there, and I may eventually get one, but for now we're stuck with this. So, we're just going to roll with that. It is how it is. Um, we do have the barracks going down for... Uh, Lightning, Lightning, yes, I'm going to remember that name, because I'm not actually. do have the 12 flash going down, as I predicted successfully, which is amazing, considering... <laughs> I am not exactly a professional player nor a professional caster. Do feel free to give me like a lot of flack in the um in the in the chat and tell me how bad a caster I am and tell me what I should do instead. Because I really would like to know, you know, because uh I've just started this business and it is nice to know exactly what I should be doing. Now pa 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 ah yes, I see. So we want we want we want F10 F10 Okay, so now I should be able to Yes, that's working right Okay So, as I was saying We do have uh, Let's see We've got a One barracks And We do have the spawning pool Of course going down No gas as of yet For both players And uh, Lightning has not yet scouted Agur Agur, yes I am going to say Agur Okay, that's going to be the pronunciation for the cast. Eager and Lightning. So Lightning is, uh, it looks like neither player is going to be doing some early pressure other than just um, chilling out some stuff. So, uh, yeah, yeah. They're just, just chilling. What do people talk about doing this? Okay, we've got the third hatchery going down, so it's a three hatch zerg against a, ah, there we go, finally got the command center going down, say, 20cc. Is 20cc even standard? I don't even know. Both players got pretty similar APM, so that's nothing really to see from that. The SVB is finally going to get in and scout this uh, base. He's going to see there's the gas going down, and he's going to also see the third hatch, so he's going to get quite a bit of information. Whereas the um, Ager has not got as much information, considering uh, Marines have this annoying habit of killing drones when they come and try and scout. He does have this overlord, which is going to see the timing of uh, the expansion. But, um... Other than that, we're just uh, waiting to see some more exciting stuff happen. Now, of course, getting me around, I will be hoping to cast the Rank's individual tournament tomorrow, the round of eight, I believe it is. Uh, I'm casting 
two games, I believe one is MSJ U round against someone else, I think SB or something, is that, is that, I can actually check on my handy dandy notebook, except it's not a notebook, it's an iPod, um, okay, no, no early pressure from either player, we've got a Zergling chilling outside, um, lightning space, just checking to see if any push was going on. I've always wondered what it'd be like if like a whole bunch of marines like slipped around here and then came around through here and then suddenly appeared and he'd be like, What? I didn't scout you And um Yeah, so some Tehran players would actually try that and tell me if it's any good or not. Cause I imagine like Zerg players if that became standard, Zerg players would get in the habit of putting their second link here. And then they'd know whenever anyone moves out. Anyway, so tomorrow I will be casting SB against MSJ U round. And I will be kept casting Captain Beefy versus Nikon. Nikon, of course, is the uh, person who is hosting and running the D Ranks Team League uh, Season 3. And I believe he uh, also did the same for Season 2. The original season and also uh, D Ranks individual tournaments have been hosted by Cobalt. Cobalt? Cobalt. Cobalt Blue. And, um. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got a whole bunch of marine and not many medic because marine medic got old pretty pretty fast and nobody even does that old fashioned stuff. Oh Marine and Medic, let's just go pure marine and just like, you know well I technically we do have an academy on the way so we will be seeing some medics. And that's about the time he's gonna push out. Now we do have a creep colony here which is a little bit early in my opinion, but hey, what do I know? I'm just a just a zoo player. It doesn't know much at all. We do have the spy going down for um, Ager, and I do actually like the placement because when the Tyrant player scans, he's going to scan here, right? And he's going to see no spy, and he's going to go, okay, and then he scans here. And he's going to see no spy, and he's going to be like, huh, no hydrogen, no spy, this guy just must be a total chobo. And he's going to be like, huh. I'm gonna win. And then in reality we've got a spy coming down and then there'd be like nine mutilus all over his face. And then another eleven. Anyway, do we have the marine and medic coming coming out? These Zerglings have been caught out of position and a lightning takes advantage of that and kills quite a few of them. However, there were quite a few Marines killed off by those Zerglings originally, so that is not a significant blow. However, he does need to get uh I normally you want actually one more sunken colony, but however we'll see how it goes. He certainly does have the minerals to be able to spend on uh, sunken colonies and whatever else you want. However, though, in any second now, he's going to be popping a whole bunch of mutilists because that spire is about to be complete. And these marines, actually, this is this would be a awesome timing window if they just all popped in right now. That would be incredible because there's only three sunken colonies here, not many zerglings at all, and the mutilists are probably like a uh, um, 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 certain amount of seconds away. Here we go, we've got the stim, and they are running in. They are going to be sunken, breaking the sunken wall, and they should be able to do quite a lot of damage because these mutilists, they're only half complete coming up to 60% now, but these marines are going to be able to take down all of these sunk colonies. The drones are being pulled, more and more marines are flooding in from Euron's from Lightning's base, and Ager is trying to micro those drones against those marines, but it's just not working, and those sunkens are going down, but the mutilists are popping, all the mutilists are coming out now, let's see if he's going to be able to micro these correctly, and uh, kill off a lot of these marines, however these marines are taking down the lair, they've killed off a lot of drones as well, uh, some of them did get pulled, we've got more marines flooding in from the left and these mutilists are coming into a bit of a micro and my stream is lagging, hooray um, <laughs> and these marines are going down though, very impressive uh, micro over here by Ego. but those marines have just about sniped, there we go, this, the base is down for Ego. so <laughs> look at that lag, poor yeah um, so Ager is in a one base position, which is unfortunate for him, however he is able to take out most of those marines, however there are more marines coming in from the left, and those units are going to be hard pressed to deal with it, however, lag, lag, okay, whoa, that just freed up something, okay. Back in action, we've got those mule lists. A lot of them were taken out by that little uh, marine push. These zerglings have popped, and they did take down one marine, but there's still quite a few out there. These zerglings are going to be running out over there. are a few more marines which could push forward. However, it doesn't really matter in terms of a uh, what Lacken does. Right now, he can just sit back for a little while because he did manage to take down uh, the lair. No, the antivirus is not running right now, so. Huh. 
it's just because this computer sucks. It's like a decade old. Not quite, but you know, this is pretty old. Those everyone's going to take care of those marines pretty quickly. Um, we do have quite a few more marines pushing out for lightning, and Ager, however, has... Uh, what is he building? What is he building? He's getting more Mutalus on the way, which is going to be good, because his Mutalus micro did seem to be sort of decent in that laggy moment, which we didn't really see what was going on. A lot of medics going down there. That is quite important, because there are no medics at all that I can see coming along with this uh, group of marines. So it's, again, marine medic without the medics. How epic is that? And this, however, there are quite a few Zerglings and a couple of Mutas here, so they should be able to defend this uh, expansion fairly easily. Having said that, though, there are a lot of Marines pouring out again for Lightning, and he does have quite a strong economy. He has got four, four, um, four, uh, four, four, four barracks as well. I can't even remember what the name of the thing is. And he does have plus one on the way, I believe it is. Yes, it is plus one. And his factory is complete, so he's going to be able to get a bit of tech up when he so desires. And he is pulling back a little bit, though. Those And there's a third going down for Aga. So we've got four hatches for Aga, and he has just about got that second up, and that third is been completed, uh, started fairly recently. We've got the Mulus coming over here to do a bit of harassment. Over there's some Marines also coming to do a bit of harassment. And I know the Mulus have spied them, and they are going to be taking them down. Nice little bit of micro there, but don't need micro against two Marines, really. That medic does go down, and again, these medics are quite important, really. Still on uh, four barracks, and we do have plus one in sort of way. we got a star put on the way, which is I want to see some Valkyries because Valkyries just tear up Mutalus like paper. Paper gets torn up quite easily, doesn't it? Um, we do have the second is finally up, back up. The natural, that is, is finally back up for Aga. And Lightning is just chilling in his base. I really hate this stage of the game when, like, uh, well, I don't know if I'd hate it as such, but trying to sit in the base and they build up like 10 billion. Uh, there's some good Mutalus harassment there. And we do have a few uh, missile turrets in uh, Lightning's base, and epic lag again. Ooh, ooh. And so some of those Mutalus are going down. He does snipe a few Marines every now and then, though, which is excellent to see. However, that missile turret placement is fairly good, <coughs> and he should be okay. And what do we have? We have a base with just one drone mining. It looks like. I don't know, he's got quite a lot of minerals, so I'm surprised he doesn't have like a billion zillion drones just sitting there mining. He really needs to... Oh, I shouldn't try telling players what to do, but if I were in his shoes, I would be droning up pretty hard right now using my Mutalus and Zerglings to hold off the push if it should eventually come. And uh, until I can get a significant economy to bash on his face with like a billion zillion um, Zerglings and Hydralis and Lurkers and all that sort of fun stuff. Starport is complete and there's a control tower on it, however there's nothing building out of it. And I really hope that this replay isn't bugged because... No, it can't be because these Mutalus are doing micro and bugged replays don't Mutalus micro. We do have a radiate on the way for the science facility and the... There we go, the science vessel is also on its way. Finally that second base is up and there are a lot of drones popping out, which is what I recommended. Ho ho ho, predicting the future like a boss. Um, Lurker is, upgrade is started and the Queen's Nest is also started, which is good to see. We've got quite a few of uh, Mutaling out on the field. They are Speedlings, of course. Uh, no upgrades on either of them, though, and I don't think they're going to be able to quite push through this uh, fairly large force of uh, Marines and a tank and a bunker and medics and all that sort of fun stuff, especially with these missile types around, which are just so annoying to deal with. However, he is going to be able to scout snipe that SUV and take, stop, prevent the production of that starport, which is going to be quite important. However, the Marine Force is stimming and doing nothing much except for coming back to try and defend these Mulus because he did forget to put a missile tower where it needed to be. There's quite a lot of Marines coming in though, and he has to pull these Mulus back before they get all killed off by all those um, stuff. And we've got Epic Lag happening again. Oh, yeah. Apparently, I have an average frame rate in the stream of 11 frames. Whoa, so many. So many. The third base is up for uh, Ager, and his hive is on the way. Lurker is just about finished, and he is pumping out units, presumably. Yes, his larvae are being used fairly well, except there are three sitting here, but hey. 
who cares about a few larvae? I mean, if you feel more confident, just don't even bother with building units and stuff because I really like his Moonless Terrace when you know, because he's, uh, just when uh, Lightning thinks he's done with it and pulls his Marines back and then BOOM! The Moonless are back in again. However, these Science Vessels are going to be like irradiating his face. And yeah, that's sort of unpleasant. Okay, we do have an engagement here. And a Zergling died there, a couple of Zerglings died there, and the Science Vessel is up. However, there's no Lurkers on the field yet, so uh, Lightning doesn't actually need that much. He is looking around for hidden expansions, but nothing to see yet. And these Zerglings and Mulas do not want to engage this significantly large uh, tank and Marine Medic Force. m ms m ms He has got another Creep Colony coming down, and he, so it sounds like he does. There we go, we've got the Lurkers which are either going to be used defensively or else just be used defensively up on this ramp. It is extremely difficult to push up a ramp without uh, like siege mode and radiate, which is what he's going to have. So, it won't even matter. Three... Three sunken colonies. Oh, poor, I need to take a drink just a second. Ah, Rockstar energy drink. Mango. Such a good flavor. And it really pumps you up. So... Aegir's APM is not going to do him much use in this situation, considering those tanks and um, science vessels out. What he really needs is a few Scourge, maybe? Something like that. To uh, He definitely has the gas for it, so if he had a couple of Scourge taking down these science vessels. Oh, look, there we go, we've got the Mutalist coming down to try and take him down. That's excellent. Sup, Stratos. Good to see that you made it to the cast. Um, so, shadows. And then we've got all this Marine Medic. And these Mulas are going to be trying to snipe with those moons, but they do get one came out. And the stream is laying again. Booyah. There's the Radiate going down on those Mulas. He's going to split that Mulas off fairly efficiently. That is quite good to see. However, these Mulas are some of them are quite low on health. And they're not going to be much use in the coming battle. What he really needs is like a million billion lurkers and some Scourge to get rid of those really, really annoying science vessels. Because the thing about lurkers is that they're just amazingly effective if there's no. Uh, detection on the field for uh, the Tyrone player other than his scans because even with scans the problem with scans is they disappear fairly rapidly and lurkers just kill marines like wow especially in D ranks because in D ranks people don't know how to micro so you just put like your lurkers down everywhere and everything dies and it doesn't even matter anyway these tanks are going to be taking down these sunken colonies so uh, and we do have a little bit of a push he's going to irradiate um, some of the lurkers there and he's got a few stuff to push out there, so he's going to be pushing into this third base and taking it down fairly quickly. It's not a extremely significant thing because there's only the gas up there. However, that gas is quite crucial when you think about it. And he does have uh, quite a few lurkers on the field, which could turn the tide of this battle. Just having a whole bunch of lurkers uh, killing everything here, which, you know, it is D-Ranks, it does happen. And there are, there are a lot of lurkers. Four. And he does have uh, Consume on the way, and he does have uh, his Defiler team down, so he should be getting a whole bunch of Defilers out. He's got Zergens coming out as well, which is actually going to be just about perfect timing, cause considering these Sunken Colonies are just about down. Yep, there's one down, and there's going to be one more going down, but these Lurkers are looking to push out. And the Mutalists are coming in and getting tuned up by that Marine Grindstone. These Lurkers are down, though, and those Seek Tanks. Oh, look at all those Lurkers, and there's a few things out there as well which are going to be trying to run in and die because Zerglings just die so much. It's so frustrating to have all those Zerglings die on you, you know. More Hydralisk on the way. And this uh, third base has got a Creek Colony coming out but and a couple of Lurkers so it should be able to hold for a little while longer at least. However, we do have a bit of a push coming in in the natural here. And uh, unfortunately uh, lightning is a little bit low on minerals, which could be a good thing, but considering the situation he is in, I'd say it's a bad thing. <coughs> That's a lot of bling and a lot of lurkers, so this could change instantly. Here, go, here they go, the lurkers going down, they're going to be taking down all those tanks there, there's a radiate going down, and those uh, lurkers are dying to marines, but the marines are dying to the lurkers very effectively. Unfortunately though, those lurkers here did not manage to take out the tanks, which would have been vital in this battle. So instead we're going to have a very defensive position for Aegir here as he is sieged up by those tanks. The tanks are so overpowered, they got like a million billion range. And then you have like a science vessel sitting here and yeah. However the swarm is out, the swarm is out and that is excellent to see because now those lurkers are going to be protected. Oh when I say that, that one just died. That's so sad. 
Anyway, if you keep them in the swarm correctly, then, uh, which the swarm is an annoying position, it's like here, so that doesn't count as in the swarm. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, if you keep your stuff in the swarm, even that if they're burrowed, then it doesn't matter about those, oh no, that the filers are going down. Uh, There's one filer still out there, but other than, oh no, he is also a radiator, so this defiler is going down, and that is crucial, because without the filers, it's going to be so hard to push against all these tanks and marines here. These Zerglings are coming out though, but without the lurker support it's not going to be enough. Those marines are rather effective at killing stuff like that. And as for the third base, it is something of an impasse, an impasse, an impasse, as neither player was willing to sacrifice the units to uh, break themselves out slash break themselves in. And we do have some SCVs here. And the for the second time, the natural of Ager does go down, and Lightning has got quite a good uh, siege line here. He's going to be able to take down quite a lot of those lurkers, and more are on the way, but it is looking rather grim, as some people might say, for Ager. And just goes to show that extra APM doesn't mean that you win the game, as uh, Ager has got nice APM, but it's just going to be enough. Lightning has just got so many minerals and not enough gas, which really shows the limiting factor is gas in this uh, instance of the game, in this stage of the game. We do have another Defiler on the field, and he might be able to do... I oh know we've got those science vessels. So annoying. All he has to do is just, like, irradiate, and then suddenly that the Defiler, which he worked so hard to get, it just dies again. We have a lot, of more, lot more Marines coming out, and some more science vessels. And these tanks are pushing forward. And there goes the swarm, the swarm, the swarm, yes, the swarm goes down, and these lurkers are here, and these tanks are all going to be chewed up, chewed up entirely by these uh, lurkers, unless they manage to pull themselves back, which they are trying to do. And, oh wow, only one tank, two tanks go down, two tanks go down, there is an SUV there, though, which is going to be able to repair those other two tanks, and a few lurkers also get taken down, so Ager was able to push back, however, there is a push coming into his third here. Those three lurkers are very nicely set up, but they are getting really irradiated by the science vessels. And we do have a few Zerglings coming out for uh, Ager, but he's not able to do it. The fourth is going down for Ager, and he's got nicely placed at this natural here, so it's less likely to get scanned. Having said that, what's the bet that Lightning has got a million billion scans saved up? Uh, yep, he's got a full ga tank of gas there, and a full tank of gas there, so he can spot it at any second, just like scan everything. These swarms are very effective though, they're going to be able to defend these lurkers and kill off these tanks. Unfortunately, these tanks are not unseating, so finally Ager is able to push out of his base and kill off uh, these tanks, which have been causing him so much grief. And yep, there goes one tank, and the second one does not quite go down, but a lot of marines were taken out there. And finally Ager is pushed up to his uh, bridge, and he is trying to take down, take it, put up that uh, natural for the third time. Lightning just keeps killing it, and then Ager keeps uh, killing it. Um, Ager keeps rebuilding it. Both players, you certainly can't fault them for their persistence. And there is a second swarm going down there for uh, Ager, so he's going to be able to sit in there just for a little bit longer at the very least. Um, Ice Draco, I think it's the LCC. It should be, and you should be able to see it in the Skype groups. Good, we got some Hydras trying to take down those uh, annoying, annoying science vessels. Because they do things like irradiating your last defiler. Yeah. Irradiating last defiler. Right after it consumes some Zerglings as well. And. Oh no, it's the Science Vessel Eraser! He's coming in. <laughs> and oh no, all these drones are going to die. No, Drones dying everywhere. Very good play by Lightning here. And a lot of drones going down. The Scourge are out on the field, but it's just going to be too late. They take down the wrong science vessels. You want to be taking down these ones because these are the ones that have just killed off. Look at that. Killed off 19 drones. There are a couple still mining gas here. And we do have a fairly strong uh, base here for... Ego, which is still mining minerals, which is good to see. However, he is the most resource limited one, and we do have a drop going down in the main. Drop going down in the main by lightning. Good to see, but these hydros are going to clean up these marines, which are just running willy nilly. We do have a push in the natural again, and uh, there's just no units out in the field here to defend. Oh, having said that, here comes a defiler and some hydros and zerglings. 
hopefully that swarm is going to get down. If that defiler gets sniped, it's going to be very hard for um, Ager to defend this. Where's this? Oh no, the Uradia has gone down. Is he going to be able to use that swarm? No, he doesn't have a swarm because he didn't manage to consume enough u <laughs> another unit. So the the natural is going to go down for the third time. The third time. There we go. And it's GG by Ager. GG and Lightning takes the victory. And where's our fancy stream graphics? So, uh, Lightning victory. So that's Team Ace is 1-0 up against Despa. And that was some good play by both players. But uh, in the end, Lightning's superior skill did manage to take down Ager on Fighting Spirit in the D-Ranks Team League Season 3 Week 4 of Team Ace versus Team Despa.